super heavy and really, really piercing. <laughs> All right, so last week, exactly seven days ago, Pig Destroyer put up one of their new tracks from their up and coming album called Head Cage up on Relapse Records YouTube channel. They had a little video for it, it's called Army of Cops. I'm here today to talk about that really quickly because I've been super busy at work. I haven't had time to do like a massive 10 minute video where it's got fancy cutting and that. Just here to talk about this one track of this up and coming album called Head Cage. I'm super, super into Big Destroyer. I really, really love them. I'm super excited for this new album. Standing behind. And when my best mate Nick told me that Pig Destroyer are gonna be bringing out something new, I obviously got really excited about it. Pig Destroyer, definitely within my top 10 favorite bands of all time. Prowler in the Yard is one of my favorite albums of all time as well. That album is just groundbreaking, you know, like a story from start to finish about someone that's so in love with their girlfriend that they end up like cutting off their fingers for every day that they missed them and it's just an insane story that I'm really really in love with. Lyrics that come out of Pig Destroyer and the riffs, the drumming, just everything, the whole package is just perfect to me. Yeah so when Pig Destroyer brought out their other albums like Phantom Limb and stuff like that and Terrifier, even though I did love Terrifier, Terrifier and Phantom Limb obviously were very polished in the sense that you could really hear like the bell and the blast beat, super super clean production. Not so much like Prowler in the Yard where it's very dirty or 38 counts of battery and all their demos that came out and all their splits and stuff like that. It was very very clean so it was a very different sound for Big Destroyer and even though it was very clean I really enjoyed it. So the last album that Pig Destroyer brought out was Book Burner which was in 2012 so six years ago, really really long time ago. This album had a lot of heavy production on it, very very clean, had a new drummer, the drummer from Misery and Index joined them. They even had this matey that joined that was doing samples and stuff. So they were no longer a three piece, no longer the original lineup. And I was kind of, I didn't really know how I sat with that. I didn't know if it was a good thing that they were carrying on. But Book Burner was one of those records where the sound of Pig Destroy was still there and the lyrics weren't so much there. There was a lot of stuff that really, really did sort of remind me of that old Pig Destroyer lyrically. It was one of those records where I sat on the fence. I wasn't really too much into it. There was a lot of guest appearances from people like Agoraphobic Nosebleeds, uh, Salom or Salem, however you pronounce that. It was one of those records which I just couldn't get into fully, you know, like when I listen to it now, it's like, yeah, I'd rather listen to Prowler in the Yard. But this new record called Head Cage is coming out in September and they just released their first single called Army of Cops. They put a video up on the Relapse YouTube channel. It's not so much a music video as it is just them in a room playing together, a few effects thrown in there, but the video is not really too awesome. You know, it's just them playing or whatever. The first thing that jumped out at me when I watched this video is that they've got tons of members. This is a band that used to be a free piece. So just drummer, guitarist and vocals and it was very dirty and just super fast, loads of blasts and just horrible vocals, pitching all over the place, recorded on a six track, you know what I mean? Like this was a very, very sketchy band. Super heavy and really, really piercing. The sound that I heard on this is massive because they got a matey doing like DJing almost, you know, he's doing like samples and back in weird ambience. Then you've got a matey playing bass now. You've got two vocalists. I'm not sure if the vocalist from Agoraphobic Nosebleed is gonna be there for the whole thing. Jason, his name is, from Agoraphobic Nosebleed. I did hear that Cat from Agoraphobic Nosebleed is gonna be in there and also Dylan from Full of Hell, which is gonna be playing some noise on this album. So tons of people, I'm not sure if they're on every single track, but I did see that in this video, the matey Jason from Agoraphobic Nosebleed, his vocals are awesome. Loved them on the last record, Book Burner. This song in particular, Army of Cops, it was very, very well produced, but I don't know if it fits the Pig Destroyer sound. Every After listening to the opening riff, I was super excited. I love the riffs from Pig Destroyer. They just come through over and over again. Like Scott's guitar work is always insane. I really, really love the way he throws in these super crunchy like metal riffs into this horrible sounding grindcore thing that they're developing throughout the years. I do think that the Misery Index drummer is not as jazzy as their old drummer, so he doesn't do like those weird feels or weird things that they used to have in the past. Something that really annoys me is that DJ matey, like I just can't hack it, like Pig Destroyer do not need this matey, like as much as I love all of the weird noises and all of the samples that Pig Destroyer have, I just, I got nothing against the matey himself, it's just I just don't think they need that live, I just, I think it just really gets on my nerves and I don't know why. But let's get back to the track. The track was very, very well produced. The opening riff was amazing by Scott as usual. I think the vocals when they came in 
were decent. I really like the flow. It's very off the cuff and it's very different. So one thing that I have said before about Pink Destroy that I really love are their poetic lyrics. And the lyrics for this song are obviously very political and Pig Destroyer, the name is obviously against cops and they were originally supposed to be called Cop Destroyer but decided to call themselves Pig Destroyer. And this song in particular is very political and against police in itself. So I'm gonna read a couple of the lyrics out to you. I'm just gonna read it off my laptop here. I'm gonna go down to the bottom a little bit here where the riff comes in at the end. It says, tell me where does it stop? The tower of law, this army of cops. Why would God create something so weak unless he wanted it to suffer? Like amazing lyrics as always i really really do love pig destroyer for their poetic lyrics but this one sounds like just more like the book burner style lyrics where they were more political and more punchy if that makes sense they weren't so much mysterious and smoke and mirrors and really weird they were more just straight to the point and i think that's something that pig destroyer have brought in from book burner you know what I mean? Like from then on, it's been very straightforward. I felt like Phantom Limb, Terrifier, Prowler in the Yard, 38 Counts of Battery, they were all insanely poetic, but very, very strange and very caped in mystery. And I really love that. And I do feel like Pig Destroyer have kind of lost that element, but they kept that weird style of vocal where it's just very off the cuff. Like I said, it doesn't fit within the standard flow that you would normally get within grindcore bands, hardcore bands, or metal bands in general. You don't have the typical verse chorus thing going on there. It's very weird and offbeat, which I really do love about Pink Destroyer. I think the really, really cool thing about this is the intro riff by Scott and then at the end when it kind of slows down and goes half beat and then speeds up again. I really did enjoy it, but I'm not too hyped about the production. It's a little bit too clean for me. And like I said, the DJ matey really, really annoys me. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm feeling really, really excited for this album. I definitely will listen to the whole thing and do another video reviewing the whole album in its entirety. As for this track, I do feel like I'm still not 100% sure whether I like it or not. It's gonna take a little bit of time, you know what I mean? It only came out last week. I've listened to it like a handful of times. I don't wanna judge it too much, but I just wanted to jump on the camera and tell you that Pig Destroyer are one of my favorite bands and I really wanted to talk about it in the open because I'm super psyched for this album. It's been a long, long time. Pig Destroyer tend to take huge breaks in between doing that album. So I'm really excited for this Hedge Cage album. Really excited for Army of Cops and Pig Destroyer that they're still together. A little bit weirded out that they've got tons of new members and that. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't do a huge video this week of like tons of editing and all that, but as I said, I'm super busy at work. Comment below, tell me if you've got any new albums that you want me to be listening to. I'm gonna be doing a video on Sunday. This is Wednesday, right, that I uploaded this video. So every Wednesday at 6 p.m., every Sunday at 12 p.m. noon German time. So comment below and tell me what you thought of this track. You can find it on YouTube. I left a link down there below. Once you've gone and watched it, comment on this video, tell me what you thought, and also leave a comment below of any new stuff that you've been listening to, because I'm really, really excited to get onto like new releases. Anything goes, not just like grindcore, metal, or power violence, or whatever. Super into hip hop, jazz, any weird avant-garde noise stuff. So yeah, comment below, let me know what you're up to, and I will see you on Sunday at 12 p.m. noon. Cheers! Right, God, 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 God.